Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, YouTubers. I am Sarah B. Tonin, and this is your shot of Motivational Espresso. I have a little ditty that I wrote, and it goes a little something like this. I'm trying to remember, but it, it's, it's actually my credo. So, um, and it goes, if my light grows dim, it stands to reason, I can't much help you see. So occasionally, I slip away to recharge my battery. Okay, so, and that's just to say that today, I want to talk with you about recharging, recentering, um, <clears throat> and coming to a place where you just kind of find your happy place and, you know, you breathe, you take your moments. I was once told when I was uh, in trucking school, oh yeah, I went to trucking school. Uh, I was told that if ever you get stuck, if ever um, you have a problem with regard to the trucking, um, if, you ever, if ever you have a problem, return to basics, go back to basics. And I have found that very useful, the advice to go back to basics when you are bogged down, when you don't quite remember what to do when you know things have depleted you or your ability to um to reason with yourself to move productively to be you know to be as mentally sharp as you should you should possibly be i had a good friend today actually um suggest music to me okay so i'm like this big music head i love my music and um, what was funny was I was kind of having a, a weird off day. Um, but he said, why don't you listen to some good music? You know, he just kind of hit me on Facebook and was like, why don't you listen to some good music? And I thought about it. I was like, yeah, I got like some really good amp music, you know, that would put me back on my square. And a lot of times that's what it is for me. It's something that will spark my creativity or something that will ground me, something that sends me back to a place. You know, when I was a kid, that's what I did. I listened to music or I talked to my friends and I have like this amazing core group of wonderful friends that I absolutely will not name right now because I'll end up in trouble. But <laughs> I have this amazing core group of friends who knew me before life got complicated. They knew me when I was in junior high school, before things got real, you know. Um, and I appreciate their presence in my life so much so that when things start to take away from me and I don't have that, that good flow of energy, you know, the good reciprocal flow of energy, you know, it's always something going out. And no matter what it is, I try to make sure it's positive, but there's always something going out, but there's nothing positive coming back to me. I ground myself by reaching out to those people who were there in the beginning, who helped me in my growing, my formative years. So when I think about that, it's like, you know, this is important for all of us. And it may not be your friends. It may not be music. It may be, you know, being creative in another from another uh, vantage point. You might be an artist. It might release something for you to create a a, a beautiful um, landscape or anything that that can come to mind that puts you in the place of being creative or it might be you know you being a musician it could be you taking a long walk it could be spending time with family anything that helps you find your happy place and express yourself in the most wholesome way possible this is going to replenish you it is going to add back to you it is going to keep you motivated and moving you know and my challenge is to you all just to take that opportunity, you know, if you have a few moments and you realize I'm not just I'm just not feeling quite right and I need to do something just to change it, just to tweak it a little bit, just to make me feel a little bit better. It's probably most likely 
that you've been giving of yourself so much and just not being mindful of the fact that you need something to put back into you. And if you take that long walk, you know, or take a short walk on your way back or even while you're going and you see other people along your path who are probably dealing with the same thing, take a moment and let them know. Help somebody else. Until next time, I am Sarah B. Tonin, and this has been your Motivational Espresso. See you soon. Bye.